When it comes to creating a website structure, it's really helpful to know some of the key terminology that comes up time and time again. And when we talk about a website structure, really what we mean are the pages that exist on your website and making sure that they are named something that's clear and that they're organized in a way that's intuitive so that uh, it's easy for visitors to find whatever it is they're looking for no matter where they land on your website. Uh, sometimes you'll hear website structure also called website sitemap or just a sitemap. Um, those terms are largely used interchangeably to refer to, again, just the organization of the pages uh, throughout your website. So with that, we'll actually dive in and look at an example website and talk a little bit more about uh, structure here. So the first thing we are going to look at here is what we call the primary navigation. And that's right up here. You'll see we have home, about us, our approach, a few others here. And we have these drop down menus as well. Uh, the primary navigation, it's really the kind of main organizational uh, entity for the whole website. And a lot of times we push people to think about this sort of like drawers in a filing cabinet. So it's not necessarily the most important pages on the website, but it, they're just used generally to organize all of your information and make it easy for people to find the buckets of information that you cover. Uh, sometimes you'll hear this called the primary navigation, the main navigation, the main nav, that all refers to this right here. Uh, we also have what's called a secondary navigation, which is right up here. Uh, this can be used in a variety of ways. You'll see here we've used it to uh, share some social icons, some main calls to action with some buttons. There's a search bar. Uh, sometimes you'll actually use this for some additional buckets of content. Uh, and then a lot of smaller sites honestly don't really need a secondary navigation. Uh, they can get by with just the primary navigation and don't necessarily need the additional uh, complexity that comes along with a secondary nav. Um, then we also have what's called a sidebar navigation, which is right over here. And you'll see the sidebar navigation actually drills down into a specific portion of the website that is related to wherever a visitor is. And so right now we're within the Our Approach section, and you'll see we have the subpages right here. Subpages are these pages that fall directly under Our Approach. And we can even drill down a little bit further into the FAQ page, and we see there's a preschool and a K through 8 page. And a lot of times people use terminology very similar to what you would with a family tree when referring to uh, the relationship of pages on the website. So here, what we would say is our approach is the parent page for this section. Then there's the uh, knowledge-based schooling, core knowledge sequence, FAQ. These are all child pages of our approach. So our approach is the parent, these are the children. And then there's actually some further pages down here, preschool and K through eight are child pages of FAQ. So FAQ would be the parent page for preschool and K through eight. And we would even take that a step further and say that preschool and K through eight are grandchild pages of our approach. So just like we would with a family tree, you know, here our approach has a child page called FAQ and FAQ has its own children pages that are then grandchildren of the main our approach page. So as long as you think of it like a family tree, it really kind of starts to make some sense. And honestly, with that, those are most of the key terms you sort of need out of the gate and you're ready to get started actually building your website structure.